Hey guys, Oni here with episode 10 of our Ditech Factorio Let's Play. So, as you can see, I am dangerously low on iron. I have negative 4 iron in the system, and I have pretty much mined out all of the iron down here. I am on the last little sliver of iron here. Uh, I'm okay for copper because I have copper here and copper up here, but the nearest two iron deposits are here, here, and this one right here. And I'm going to go for this one right here. Um, and to do that, well, First of all, the reason that I'm low in iron is because I had uh, made all of these eight assemblers into electronic circuit assemblers because I wanted to boost the production of my blue circuits. So I did that for a while, but and that got me a lot of blue circuits, as you can see, but that totally, you know, ruined my iron, you know, my, my iron inventory. You know, it pretty much took up all my iron, and after I realized that I didn't have enough iron left to mine, it was pretty much too late. So I need to go ahead and tap into this iron mine or this iron deposit up here. But to do that, I need to get a lot of the fast transport belts. And to do that, we're just going to do this. We're going to do this, which is going to make stone gears. Intermediates. It's Ditec intermediates, isn't it? Stone gears, which is then going to go into this, which is going to make conveyor belts, which needs iron plates and stone gears. And then that's going to go into this, which is going to make the fast gear, uh, fast conveyor belts, which needs sweep. We got the portable fusion reactor. Let's go for the uh, actual power armor now. And then we need so we need iron gear wheels and transport belts. So we'll do iron gear wheels here, intermediates, iron gear wheels. It's not an intermediate. It's right here. Okay. So we need two requester chests. Or a couple of requester chests to start out with. Gonna do one here, one here, and one. Let's see, what do you need again? You need iron, and one here. So these two both need iron. So we'll say 50 iron in this one. Copy it from there to there. And then you need stone, so we'll do 50 stone here. Then we'll get a bunch of inserters. Like that. Then we'll hook everything up to power. Probably use the big power. Then one small and one small. You are still not getting any iron yet. How much iron do I have in the system right now? Negative six? Where's it all going? No matter, I can just use my emergency iron supply for right now. Give you 200, give you 200. Why are you not outputting? Oh, you are. Okay, so then let's put a passive provider chest right here with the last inserter. power and there we go we've automated the production of fast conveyor belts we could probably speed this up a little bit by getting a steel chest and another inserter actually let's put it on the right side where the power reaches another inserter and give it some steel for him and then it'll double the input speed of the steel and then we need to let's let that work um, Basically, it's not a whole lot I can do in the meantime. Uh, but I do want to go ahead and go over what I did between episodes. I did the following. I added two more chemical plants here to make batteries for me. Uh, I went ahead and added a Mark I RoboPort right here. That way I could get the quadruple construction area. It's 200 by 200 instead of 100 by 100. And I cleared out all these trees over here and put up some de defenses over here on this border. I'm going to use this area for probably solar power or just expanding the factory. I added three Mark II radars here, here, and here. Let's see. Got rid of this stone mining operation here because it ran out of stone. Um, I did try to save this iron operation, but I just realized I'm, I was just out of iron, so I couldn't really do anything about it. Uh, basically, my entire operation right now is, is crippled because I have no iron. So 
I did make, uh, how many did I make? I have two Mark II mining drills. I'm going to make another one. Of course, I'm low on iron. What's new? And I probably want to make the iron come in on this same area if I can. So, what am I missing? I'm missing, I'm just missing iron. That's all. Grab some of this emergency iron. I'm going to manually make a bunch of these guys, and I'll be right back once it's done. Alright guys, so I seem to have temporarily fixed my uh, iron problem. I went ahead and started mining this iron patch up here instead. Uh, where is it? Right here. Put a couple of tier 2 miners up there, and finally managed to get a fast, power, a fast conveyor belt line going from all the way up there, all the way down to my uh, processing line for iron. And while my system is catching up to that, with that, uh, I want to go ahead and really quick set up a auto assembler for my purple science packs that I have now, or the, the ones I can make now. So that just involves a simple, a simple assembler, and then a conveyor belt that I'm going to split and then bring down. And then, of course, it's not going to work right there, is it? Because that's going to be in the way. So we're going to instead of going under it, we're going to go around it. That seems silly, but just follow me here. Technically, if I put a all right, so let's do this. If I, now I need to put long-handed uh, inserters on each of those labs. So we got the basic exoskeleton. Now let's get the energy shield, which thankfully only requires red and green science packs. So let's go ahead and get uh, how many do we have? Five on each side, so ten. Five, ten. Now if I move this down and make this guy right here instead. I should ha I should only have to do this, and I, he should be able to grab any of the purple science packs that are going by. And then you, um, same thing. And then I could do that. Should be going into that one, that one, and then. Ooh, that's not going to be good. That one, I guess. And then we'll put a uh, another. No, we don't. We don't. We don't need one. We don't need another uh, conveyor belt there. So this should. Wait, do I have six on each? I have six on each side, so I need two more. So get rid of this light. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. A little easier than the other side. We put the light back um, right there. Why not? Okay. So. Sweet, that was fast. Uh, this requires... Ah, uh, this is lame. It requires so much other shit. Um, whatever, we'll do it. Okay, so... Now, I, I don't want to put any of my... Uh, well, hang on. That, I, I don't want to put any, any of my alien artifacts that I have right now in there because I only have 69. And I'm going to use those to make my power armor which needs 10, and it needs 30 electric engines, so let's go grab a couple of those. How many is in here? 150? Let's grab some of these, and let's say, let's make a power armor suit. Then I also need a fusion reactor, which requires 30 more. So take off our steel armor. And we also gonna we also gonna need some. Uh, um, we need we definitely need these basic exoskeletons because I want to run fast, so that's for sure. Let's put the fusion reactor in here. And I have 98 more of uh, the blue circuits, so I can make. Give me more of these, and then I can do. Hmm. How many is this? What's the rent? That's uh, two by four. So two by four, I only have room enough for one with the power armor. That's fine. Running faster is running faster, right? Let's put that in there. I wish it run faster, that's for sure. Just a little bit. 
Now, once I finish my energy shield, let's, let's go ahead and make the nine we need right now. Because we need ten to make the tier two one. Let's get some more steel. I also want to set up auto crafting for hmm, Defender Distractor. Yeah, I want to set up auto crafting for poison capsules and distractor capsules. So, that's going to require that I also set up auto crafting for the piercing rounds. I mean, how much steel do I have? 1.3 thousand steel, so that should be good enough for right now. Let's go ahead and make um, a couple assembly machine level 2. I don't foresee that energy shield MK2 equipment research finishing anytime soon. Should be done by the end of this episode, though. That's for sure. Give me those. I also want to make some more... Well, we can wait. Uh, I need to get rid of some of this crap I have in my inventory. For starters, give me that. Um, I can leave you in here for right now. But let's put some of this junk away. I don't need this, this. I don't need these. You can keep these in the system for the walls. Um, don't need this active provider chest. The storage chest can just go out here somewhere. Uh, I don't need these fast starters. No, I definitely don't need these. I probably, I probably should have planted those rubber seeds a long time ago. But let's plant them somewhere out of the way. Okay. So we need to do... First thing we need to do is we need to... I can probably mooch off of... Uh, what can I mooch off of? I can mooch off of you, right? No, you're a, you're a provider chest, so I can just can't do that. So we'll go ahead and do this. We'll do that. And then we'll say you make the piercing rounds, which requires copper and steel. So we'll do 50 steel and 50 copper. Get some fast inserters. And then I want to make the Defender capsules, so that needs three iron gear wheels, two electronic circuits. So I could let's get rid of this. I'm thinking that I might either a I want to make another whole assembler, which I can just do this. I can mooch off of that chest, so I can just do that and do this and say you make iron gear wheels, which are intermediates, give you some power, which you're not connected to anything, so you're not going to work. Silly me. Uh, right there. And then I need... Um... Well, this is not going to be pretty. Oh well, we'll do this. We'll do... Base, uh, passive provider chest, a couple more requester chests. We'll do output into a passive provider chest. And then input into a assembler. Now, can you reach that from here? No, you can't. I could do it with a long-handed inserter, but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to move this over one. It's going to be ugly. Which is, uh, it's one thing I don't like about it. It's going to be ugly. I'd rather have it clean and square. So, we can keep it somewhat square, more like a trapezoid, by doing this with a fast long inserter. And then you make the defender capsules, but you also need electronic circuits. And I'm not even making those mass on mass on a mass scale I'm more or less I was making them up here but I was out of iron, out of iron so I guess for right now um, because I don't have the iron that I not I don't have enough iron to do this comfortably I'll just take them out of here and do it manually for right now I know it's not the best way to do it but it's a way so we can actually just put 
Is anybody requesting these? Because if you're requesting them, you're going to take them out of here. That's going to be annoying. Yep, you, somebody's requesting them. Nope, give me those back. Go away. Get out of here. I'll make you a regular chest. And then we can do this, 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 this. And then we can do that. And then you make those. And then I can just do this. Can I do this? No, I cannot. I need another fast inserter. Fast long inserter. Like that. Now I give. It, can I get everybody power right here? Yes, I can. So. Okay, so you're making that, and then I need to make these these out of defender four defender capsules. So I can just do this. This, and then you need some advanced circuits, which I do have a lot of. So I could technically do a requester chest for that. So if I look at my network, you'll see that I have 1.1k red circuits. So I could do a chest requester chest for that, which I think I will. Okay, let's let's do that. So requester chest here. Requesting 50 red circuits. No, not 506, 50. No. Oh, geez, you're going to give me way too much. Nope. Nope. Let's put these back in the network somewhere. Whoa. No, 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 no. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. Try again, guys. Uh, I need to split these up between these chests here. Jeez. You. You. You have plenty. You have plenty. Let's give you 100 more. Oh, 100 more. And I'll keep 200. Okay. So, you're making those. You're going to get those from here. And you're going to output those to a passive provider chest. But I want to limit the number you can make by saying you can only make up to a stack. Which I think is 50. So I'll give everybody power here. Sure, so crafting, and then we'll be good. Let that work. Let, let that work its magic, and then um, that's that's fine. Doing what it's doing. My iron levels are going up over time, steadily over time, and I'm getting low on copper, so I can sort of reorient these miners down here. What I want to do is I want to get rid of all these wasted power pulls and just completely redo this, sort of. Destroy this, of course. Okay, let's get rid of this. And are you done? Yes, you're done. You're done. You're done. Everybody's pretty much done on this line, so we'll pick up everybody. Except for these guys. I'm just going to reorient these guys. Pick up these power poles. And we will say, let's put a power pole, or let's put a variable line going right up the middle of all this. And then turning. And then we'll do nothing but these advanced ones, so... 2.9k, 1k, and we'll do here, 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 uh, here. Then give everybody power. So like this, like this, and like this, and over. We can also do like supplementary miners. And these guys aren't going to all be mining because they're all going to be stuck sooner or later. That should give us a nice little saturated line there. Let's go ahead and get some lights going here. Because I can't see shit. How are we doing on uh, steel? Are we doing good on steel? Steel's doing alright. Let's put some lights over here as well.
Doing good on blue science packs? What are you missing on blue science packs? You're missing smart inserters, which are missing circuits, which are missing copper. So give it a second, and you should have enough copper here in a couple minutes here. But in the meantime, I will give you those manually, which I think I have a supply built up by now. Well, not a lot, but more than zero, so... Let's see, you need... Give you half a stack, give you half a stack. Which, what, what are you missing? You're missing iron. Oh, that's because this line is full here. So this, you need them. No, you need them. Okay, so you need them, sorry. Give you half a stack, and then give you half a stack. All right, copper's starting to make its way back through the line. Probably want to go ahead and start mining another copper deposit sooner or later here. I can make two more of these advanced miners, so we should probably do that. Mix. Let's make, um, actually we can't because I used all my, not all of them, I used a good portion of my blue circuits for the uh, power armor. I also need to make batteries, so I need better battery equipment too. How are we doing on batteries, by the way? Uh, I like this, we have 1.3 thousand batteries, which it should be limited, and it is. Why well, are you not working? You're working, okay. You're good, you're good. I do want to make some more of these chemical plants that are turning light oil into petroleum. Because even though I um, have three of these going along with the advanced or uh, what you call it, advanced oil processing going, I'm still not getting more than a, more, more petroleum than what I'm using. So definitely want to get, possibly get started on that. But it's not a primary focus right now. What is a primary focus is getting more copper into our system. Now, where does my... Okay, so that ends over there now. Um, I will make more either... I'll make either three-fourths logistics robots and one-fourth uh, construction robots, Mark 1s, with the blue circuits that I have left after I'm done making the uh, energy shield and the rest of my power suit, or I'll just go all logistics because I do have lots of construction robots, but they're very slow. I don't have the research yet to make them faster. And I want to extend this out but I'm not sure how many, how many, okay, I have about 84 laser turrets, not that many lights, so we can probably start the light production again. These are so fast, they're pretty awesome. You are full. Are you full? No, but you're done mining this out, so give me these back. Let's start moving these one by one. Let's move this one. And then this one. We forgot to give our purple science pack assembler power. Let's uh can we reach it from here? Yes we can, alright. We also need an inserter, which needs power by itself, so it's kind of makes that pointless. We do it like that though. It's fine. Getting pretty close to finishing our Mark II energy shield equipment. Sweet. Let's go for battery Mark II. Which is going to take just as long. But for right now, we can go ahead and make our shield. And why are you guys out of power now? Whoa, whoa, why is, there, why is everybody out of power? Whoa, what did I break? Um, no, what, what, what just happened? You guys should also be connected to this guy. Uh, that was really weird. Okie dokie. Whatever you say. Not sure why that one power... Well, whatever power pole was up here was keeping everything in check. I'm not sure what that deal with that, that was about. But we fixed it, so we're good now. So with that, I want to replace the two that I took up and put them, uh, first of all, let's clear out these trees as well. 
Those are kind of in the way. These and that one. Let's shotgun this rock here. Of course, by the time these slow guys are there, the fast guys are probably... No, actually, I'm not even using any fast guys, because I only queued up enough... I queued up as many trees as I have slow guys, basically. Okay, so now that that's moved, we can move this up here. And then move these out a little bit. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then close up that hole there. We can remove. We can wait till those are done being built to remove these over here. These three. I should have enough turrets and everything to do that. But we'll go ahead and turn off our light production for right now. Just in case. We don't want to waste resources. And you are waiting on batteries, which I do have coming in. So I can start making you guys again, just in case I'm too low on turrets after this is done. How many distractor capsules do I have now? Eleven. Nice. Oh yeah, I also wanted to make the poison ones. The poison ones need what? Coal, steel plate, and electronic circuit. Am I even... I'm, I don't think I'm even boxing up coal right now. Probably should, though. Let's get a chest right here. And then a fast inserter there. And then some power, which is going to be ugly as hell, but... Actually, am I boxing up coal? No, I wasn't. Okay, well, now I am. Plenty of coal down there anyway, so might as well get it. So, I actually want to make this a little faster, so let's do another supply chest. Whoops, not like that. Nope, flip the toolbar. Another one of these, and then power right here instead. Double the amount of coal I'm getting. We can go ahead and put our shield in our suit here, which takes up 2x2, two two, which I can put right there, and you'll see my shield starts charging. Okay, so that's all done now. I When I break these, it's, actually no, it shouldn't, because these all are getting power from these two down here, and you know so on and so forth. So I should, I should be able to break these without having any power problems with my current turrets. And I also probably want to make some more assemblers to make walls, because I do have tons of stone. And it's Actually, I don't need assemblers for that. I need furnaces. So let's make um, one furnace. is probably enough for our needs. Let's make a couple requester chests for our poison capsules as well. We can put, I don't know, we can put it, put it uh, right here. It's fine, I guess. And then we can do a requester chest. No, do it on the right side. But requester chest, and then a passive provider chest. Nope, not right there. Nope, not right there again. Then we'll do two fast inserters. And we'll say, you request 100 stone. Nope, not sell a fuel, 100 stone. Because I have like 5.6k, so that's plenty. Uh, we should be able to power both of you guys with just one power pole. And there we go. We're making uh, stone bricks, which should... Should now be able to request stone bricks. And then put them into an assembler right here. Let's do a requester chest like this. Saying you request 50 stone bricks. And we'll do a, another passive supplier chest. Provider chest, I'm sorry. Right here. And we'll do fast inserter here and then here. And we'll say you make walls. But only up to like two lines worth, if you can. And that'll over time make us tons of walls. So now you're complaining about power. That's understandable. I should be able to make a long power pole and then connect you up right here, which I can break these guys. I'll leave that stone chest there, which is kind of silly, but I could turn it into an active provider chest, which would then make all the robots take all the stone out of here and bring it over here to these storage chests, which I might do, just to consolidate everything. Let's get a... Where did I put that active provider chest? There it is. Let's get one of those, and then let's, uh, let's make some more storage chests, because I don't want anything running out of space. Okay. 
Now, if you'll watch... Well, first, let's do this. Let's do... What does this poison capsule need again? It needs... Coal, steel, and electronic circuits. So, we said that we're going to do the circuits manually. So... I can actually... It's, gonna not, it's not going to be square because... It is what it is. We can do it like that. I promise the rest of the base is going to be square. I hope. Do this. Get a couple more inserters. We'll say insert from there. You're making poison capsules. And I also need steel. So we'll do a requester chest up here. Actually, we'll do one down here. Down here. Requesting steel and coal. So 50 coal. And 50 steel. Nope, not 450. And uh, they probably already grabbed 450 of it. Uh, here it comes. I can already sell. It's going to take all my steel. Nope. Bring it right back. Nope, not that. I'm just going to bring it right back. I don't know what you're doing. So that should be reset now. So it should be good. Do a fast inserter there. And now you should be making... Once you get enough coal, you should be making the... Uh, poison capsules. Taking forever, though. There we go. And we'll do a passive provider chest again. And we'll output it to... Uh, it's not going to be pretty, but... No, it'll be pretty. Not pretty, but pretty-ish. Where's this go to? Right there. So we'll do that. We'll say you can make up to a stack. What are you waiting for? More of these guys. Okay. My steel production might be uh, lacking at this point, but we'll see over time. If that's the case or not. Uh, who's complaining about repair packs? Nobody should be complaining about them because I got plenty of repair packs all over the place. If anything, you're just complaining because you have to go a little, little further than usual to get them. But what we'll do is we want to, I'll go ahead and do this now. I'll go ahead and change this into an active provider chest, which will then cause all my robots, all my logistics robots, to come over here and grab as many as they can, and basically empty out this chest and bring it over to this long-term storage over here. Which is kind of a good thing because I want everything in the same spot-ish. So. But anyway, guys, um, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching. My name's Oni, and I'll see you next time.